Welcome to a June edition of the Rutherford Report. Coming up this month... A look into a very unique dance performance... The recent Year 12 Careers event... A brilliant filmmaking workshop... And a glimpse into recent sports news. Hello and welcome back to the Rutherford Report, looking at news and events here at Mark Rutherford School. We start our broadcast with a look into a unique dance performance facilitated by Pearl Sombol. Um, this week we're integrating dance and coding in a week-long workshop for a performance at the end of the week. Uh, so today we're working on the final dance because we have to open the show and close the show and we're working on the last part. So on Thursday we're doing the coding which means like people can hook up their phones to it and they can control what people do in the dance. Um, it's really fun. Yeah, it's really good. It's a bit different to anything all of us have done before in lessons yeah. and yeah, it's really good. Welcome to Davis. Interesting event there, Marketex Coding Club and the High Tech Teens Girls Coding Club, if I said that right, took part in the annual British Computer Society coding competition on the 15th of June. The Year 9s were awarded first prize for their game about IT security, and the Year 7s were awarded second prize for their game about keeping safe online. Impressive work there, guys. Year 12s recently took part in a useful careers day. Let's have a look at what they got up to. Today is part of the programme of events and talks and visits we're doing for Year 12 to do with careers and their roots after the sixth form. Well, we're here in the careers fair part of the careers day and it's going really well. Students are finding out lots of things about different things such as gap years. Uh, this morning we went to the surviving university lesson and we got a lot of tips on how to survive university. The UCAS thing was uh, very good, preparing for uni, it's a bit stressful but it's fine. I'm just uh, applying for UCAS so I can go to university in 2018. I'm Janine Ramsdale and I'm from WorkPays and I'm here today to promote the apprenticeship programme to year 12 students. Um, I filled out my UCAS form which is really helpful to go into uni and then today I've just done the careers fair and I visited a lot of schools that have really helped me about my teaching. So overall it has been really successful. Rutherford Races had a successful day at Rockingham Racetrack, finishing 5th and 6th in Race 1 and 7th and 11th in Race 2. Great work guys, thank you for your dedication and hard work. Also, students took part in a creative arts breakfast on the 17th of May. They had the opportunity to network with businesses and were made aware of the options and pathways open to them. In addition to the networking meeting, there were also two workshops run for some students by our business partners, Improvisation in Art and Music. Thank you to all who helped out, Mrs Unwin, Mr Baker and all students who attended. Now as you may know, we create the Rutherford Report as a part of Journalism Club. Recently we were treated to a filmmaking workshop from a local organisation. Let's have a look. Yeah, my name is Tim and I'm at the Mark um, Rutherford School and we're, I'm basically delivering a filmmaking uh, workshop. Today we're doing a workshop um, that is sponsored by both Culture Challenge and also run by the Creative Film Workshop based in Luton. We've done um, numerous activities involving editing, um, green screening and um, interviewing and it's been really informative. Our vocal group and dance group performed at a masquerade charity ball on Saturday 6th of May. This included a flash dance and a vocal number from some of our students. Thank you for all your efforts and well done. 
On Friday, the 5th of May, a group of nine sixth form students, including Vicky, supported by two year 10 tech students, performed hashtag YOLO at the Royal and Durngate in Northampton as a part of the National Theatre Connections Festival. During the day, the students got took part in workshops and watched performances from other schools and new theatre companies. Great work, guys. Let's have a glimpse into recent sports news. Hi guys, I'm Ben and I'm back with this month's sports news. Firstly, Jaden Thompson competed in the Kickboxing World Championships in age group 13 to 17 years old. He successfully won two bronze medals. Brilliant work, Jaden. We've also had some great results from all students who took part in district athletics. Highlights include Will, first place in junior boys 100 metres. Rion Ashley Lewis, first place in 200 metres. Raphael Buju, first place in inter boys long jump. Leon, Leah Annin, first place in junior girls 100 metres. Tia Wilson, first place in inter girls 1,500 metres. And Shannon Monroe, first place in inter girls shot put. Congratulations to all students who took part. On the 14th of June, Mark Rutherford students secured nine first places, two second places and three third places at the County Athletics Championships. Well done to all the students who took part. Special mention for Raf Buju, who won three events and came second in another. On May 25th, there was an excellent start to the season for the under-15 cricketers with a seven-wicket victory over Bidden Bidenham. Good luck for the rest of the season, guys. Now rounders, the Year 7 team secured a 13 to 4.5 win over Castle Newnham, on, and on May 18th were held to a 4.5 to 4.5 draw against Bedford Girls School. Great stuff, guys. The Year 8 team also succeeded with a 13 to 5.5 victory over Castle Newnham. However, unfortunately, fell to a 10 to 6 defeat against Bedford Girls School. Good luck guys for the rest of your games. That's it from this month's sports news. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you for watching this month's edition of the Rutherford Report. Please check out our website where we're posting articles, radio broadcasts and other posts regularly. We'll see you next month for a very special end of year live broadcast. Thank you. Bye. Bye.